up everybody a family member reached out to go fish at his pond but hopefully we can get into some nice bass today so hopefully we can go catch a giant <laughs> Come in. Sorry. This is our whip. We got the pontoon paddle boat. I am so pumped. We out here. It's kind of weedy, so I guess we'll see. Shout out to Shane for letting me do this. All right, it's so nice out here. We're gonna throw the crankbait, bluegill one. There's a lot of bluegill in here, so. There's one. Second cast with the bluegill crankbait. All right, they're gonna get much bigger. They're so warm, the water's warm. Fishy, fishy, fishy was nice and warm. We're looking for the big bass. That was pretty cool too, I watched that guy eat it. So peaceful. We got one. Yes. Ooh, he's not bad. He's a nice pounder. Definitely bigger than the first one. the point over there this pond is beautiful all right we're gonna go drift this shore and In down the block there's That was so cool. So cool. On the plop. Oh yeah, that's my best one. They're getting a little bigger. That one was on the plop. That was so cool though. Just the way he ate it, the way these weeds look over here. On the top water. I will take that all day. That's so cool. Oh, another one. Ah this one's smaller, but that's still so cool. Yeah, he's a little guy, but that's all right. I will take him all day. I love pond fishing. I love catching bass. Love the top water blow ups. I'm going to be here for a while. Eventually I might try to, I'll catch like a bluegill and try live bait fishing, catch a hog or something maybe. We are live on the pontoon. We're up in the shallows, throwing the wapa plapa. Gotta love it. Oh, I think that pollen stopped my cast. That cotton stuff for the past like week and a half or so has been getting bad. Clogging up your reel and stuff. <clears throat> Clogging up my throat and lungs, too. This is so peaceful, though. Fishing on a Sunday morning. I'm gonna go fish 
up in this shallow thing around here with the plopper and then I'll come back out. So I'm gonna go up in the shallow up that way over there. I love this little pontoon boat too. Birds sound like monkeys. We got a good one on the plopper. He was way over by the trees. Smucked it. Oh, I guess he's not great. It's about as big as my biggest so far. He smoked it though. That was cool. I didn't get it on camera, but that was awesome. The colors on these guys are so cool. I love bass. Love, love, love bass. If I'm not careful, I, I'll be out here all day. Oh, there was a nice. Nice. Not bad. There we go. I'm going to leave those players out. That was so cool. Blew it up on the plop. Good old stick fish. Oh, we got a jumper. He's not that big. But he hit it right away. Oh, he spit it. Oh. Oh, this is a decent one. Decent fish. I think it's my biggest one. Oh. I'm so mad. There's a fish. Get out of the weeds. He's got weeds on him. <laughs> nice. Bass on the plopper. I'll take him all day. Wow, that was eventful right there. I just casted a little too close to this little tree over there when I was, and got stuck in the tree and I went, I jerked it really hard. All I saw was a plopper coming at my face. So I turned like this, so my shoulder would block my face. And one of these hooks, went in my arm all the way down to the to where it bends. And I had to, oh, I'm gonna get sick talking about it. It's not bleeding too bad, but it was in. And when I went to like pull it out like lightly the first time, I saw my skin like pulling. I was like, oh, great. So I took my shirt off and just got my pliers and gripped and ripped and it came out. Ever want to go through that again? So the plan is I got a little bobber and a little hook and worm night crawler set up. I'm going to try to catch a nice little bait sized bluegill. Choss it out there. See if I can get a cat or like a big bass or something. I'll still throw lures maybe around here, so. But I keep seeing fish blowing up over here like big ones. Like coming out of the water and you can hear them sploosh. So I can catch the sunfish to my right. All right, I swear, I had a bluegill, caught it. <clears throat> it was tiny. I put it on my hook and I was just like putting it in the water to like paddle paddle over to the other place over there. 
and a huge bass just smoked it and took it. He was on for a couple couple seconds. Oh, eat it. Nice. It was a bluegill like this size. And he he whacked it. It's like as soon as I put it in the water to go. All right, bluegill in the bag. Now, let's try this again. All right, we got our bobber out with the live bluegill on there. It's like a big crankbait that like floats on the top. It only goes down like max of like one foot. He's not huge. Oh my God, he spit it. I got another chance. He's a jumper. been so long since I've had a decent one. Oh yes, let's freaking go. Look at his mouth, he's been caught. I love all the top water hits today. This is what, what I was talking about. It's like a super floating crankbait. Pretty much just stays on top. He smoked it. I'm not used to being in a boat, you know, but I want to definitely get a kayak it's for me, but I've been doing pretty good. No mistakes yet. There, He's been going back and forth all day. There he goes. I'm not sure what it is. The groundhog woodchuck. Right out in the middle with the plopper. He's nice. hook that was in my arm. I don't have him. Ooh, he's pretty good. Pound and a half. I, I just love doing this on the plopper all day long. Little update. We are out on the pontoon still. Yeah. Little jump platform. I'm going to the front side. We're going to go through the canal to the front side of the pond. I haven't really fished that yet. My goodies, I just found a lure too. We're gonna catch some more fish. All right, I'll check back when we have another fish. Hopefully we get one. They're smacking the plopper. I just had one on that got off again. There he is. Let's go. I saw him hit it the first time. He's way, way down the alley. Nice. We got another one blowing up the plopper. They absolutely blow it up in here. Gotta see if this turtle will let me film him. Oh, that was right away. That was right away.
right in front of Shane's house. Yee Just getting some top water action today. All day. Wait. There it was. <laughs> nice. We got another one. Oh, yeah. As soon as it hit the water, that's a good one. Don't come off. Let's go! Oh my God. Oh my God. This is my biggest largemouth ever. I can't even like fit them in the frame. Oh my God. I have my scale. That is so cool. I'm shaking so bad. I'm so happy I came back here. Thank you, buddy. 0.4 pounds. What a beauty. It's so big. Look at his mouth. That's awesome. So happy. Yes! I've caught a big bass like that before, but it was I, I weighed it and it was only like 4.2 or 4.3 pounds. So that was my, that's my PP pee -pee bass. told myself that was the last cast. I had so much fun. I was already having fun. That four and a half pounder decided to, that he wanted to, to meet. I'll take a four and a half pounder all day, any day. Beats my personal PB by like four or five ounces. It's awesome, I love it. next time and thanks Shane for letting me do that wouldn't have been able to PB out on my largemouth without you so thanks for letting me use the pond peace Thank you.